What's up everybody, and welcome to another video here on CR95 Games. Unlike usual when we talk about builds though, this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to Kuva farm Kuva missions. Normally, I would have put Kuva missions and Kuva survival in the same video, but I do not have the time to do that, so this one's going to be Kuva missions, and then there will be a Kuva survival one as well, separately. So, first, let's go look at what we're talking about when we say Kuva missions. So, the Kuva Fortress is where these come from. The Kuva Fortress will move around the star chart randomly, moving the locations of the missions and what type of missions they are. In fact, I'm having to record this a second time because it moved during the first recording. So, whenever this happens, there are going to be two planets. The, usually the most two nearby planets will have Kuva missions on both of them. But, for this one, we're solely going to be focusing on the missions on Venus because the majority of them are here and the ones we're looking at are here. So, you have Kuva Siphon missions, like this one, which you can see is lower between level 20 and 30. And then we have Kuva Floods which are higher, level 80 to 100, but that means they're also going to give you more Kuva. Normally they're going to give you twice the amount, so from a normal Kuva Siphon you get around 1250 Kuva, from, while, or 600, 600 to 700 Kuva from a normal Siphon, and then from a Flood you would get about 1250. So, Honestly, it is better to farm with a booster rather than without one. You, you'll get a lot more Kuva a lot faster because just doing a flood will give you a little over 2,500 Kuva, which is almost enough just to do one maximum cost roll, which is really, really good. It's just not that bad. I mean, it's not awesome awesome, so you're not getting tons of Kuva, but you're getting a decent amount, enough to get what you need done. Now let's talk about what frames to use. The two best choices, in my opinion, are Wukong and Loki Prime. Wukong, because he has insane survivability, won't run out of energy, he just can't die, and his Primal Fury does a ton of damage when used correctly. So he is great for this. You don't have to worry about dying, you don't have to worry about them stopping you from getting the Kuva Cloud so you can get your Siphon. We'll talk about all that in a minute when we get into the mission. And then the next one is Loki Prime. Shut the... Shut up, Lotus. Loki Prime. This is actually my most used frame on my profile because of using him so much in Kuva farming. Spending so much time Kuva farming and almost solely using Loki Prime for a couple of different reasons. One, his invi invisibility for this is awesome. Nobody's going to be paying attention to you and that is really going to make the difference when you're in these close range areas trying to watch out for these clouds and that way you're not getting attacked and knocked down and everything and you're not going to be able to see a cloud or get it in time before it reaches the siphon. So for mainly I'll be using the invisibility build which gives us as long invisibility as we can and you can find this uh, on a Loki build video I already have up and then other times for floods which are really high level usually for like mobile defense I use this build, Duration Disarm, so I can radial disarm all the enemies around and they can't do a lot of damage to the mobile defense. And I can stay invisible and I can take out the Kuva Siphon whenever I get to it as well, or the Flood, whatever you want to call it. So this is really the best go-to build that I'll use for those situations and it is just awesome for it. Now, besides that, you're going to want to bring some strong weapons on your Kuva Floods with Grenier builds. Um, all of these weapons here, as well as the Warframe, I have builds for all of them up. Build videos for all of them that will help you be able to take down every enemy that you will encounter in these Floods and Siphons. Now, let's go and take a look at how to actually complete these missions. So we just went into that Kuva Flood that I showed you. When you're Loki here, you're going to want to have your energy. You're going to need a decent amount of it because you're going to need to go invisible multiple times. Normally, I have my TV turned down when doing this, I'm sorry if y'all can hear it, but there is a sound that the Kuva Cloud makes when it comes out, and I would like to be able to hear that so I can tell you when you should be able to hear it and when it's going. Normally, it, not always, 
but sometimes the Kula siphon will be really close like it just was. Whenever you see that waypoint pop up, you want to run over to the siphon. And then you can see on the left we have Braids destroyed and we have captured Kuba. So you want to wait here around the, the siphon and watch these braids. There are four of them. Whenever a braid lifts up, that means that there is a Kuba cloud out like that and it's coming from that direction. See it's this going that way and there's the Kuba cloud up there. So uh, I did not mean to do that so quickly but we got three more to show you. What I did was I ran over to the cloud, I switched to my operator and bullet jumped through the cloud. That destroys it and as you can see we now have one out of four of the braids destroyed, the one that was pulling towards that cloud. Now you want to come back, wait for the next one, it's still coming from the same place. There is your Kuva Cloud, bullet jump through it, destroy it, you've destroyed another braid, you got two more to go. So now, if the Kuva Siphon does capture a cloud, one of those diamond marks in the top left will turn red. Even if those all, or even if almost all of them turn red, it does not decrease the amount of Kuva you get from the siphon. It will still be the same. So it's just the same thing, rinse and repeat, for all four of the different clouds, if you don't screw up like I just did. Now we have one braid left, but whenever those four, all those diamonds do turn red and fill up, the siphon will be destroyed and you won't get anything. So you don't want to let all the clouds get to the siphon. But if you do have some get there, you do not lose the amount of kuva you would have gained. Just want to get that across. Change your operator, bullet jump through the cloud. Now you see we got 1266 kuva. This was the flood. Mind you, like I said, 1250 or so you'll get. So that's how you can break the siphons and get the kuva you need from them. It's actually pretty easy. It's not too big of a deal. You do not have to engage the enemies that are around. You don't have to worry about them. You can leave them alone and you'll just be all good to go. I'm using my Grenier build, of course, against this Corpus guy so he doesn't want to die. So get your siphon, complete the mission, you've gotten your Kuva, and now you just want to head to extraction. That's all there is to it guys, that's, that's really all there is, and um, so you don't need vacuum or anything to pick up the Kuva. Whenever the braid, all the four braids are destroyed, the Kuva will automatically be given to you. You'll see it pop up on the side of your screen like you did a minute ago when I did it before. So, um, I really hope this helped you guys out. I hope you've gotten your builds and you're going to be able to get all the Kuva you need now. And I wouldn't say solely go and do this solo, but I will say that it's quite a bit easier on solo, in my opinion. I found it to be, and you can see we got our 1266 Kuva there. All good stuff. Now, like I said, again, with a booster, you're going to get twice that, which is going to make your income a lot, lot more. But all in all, no matter what planet you're on, you're always going to be doing the same tech strategy like I just did then. If you're using Wukong instead of Loki or another Warframe, just turn your Defy on and you'll be completely invincible. And enemies will be screwing with you and trying to mess with you, but you'll still be able to get your clouds and not have to worry about dying or anything like that. And as for the big guys that you'll see carrying around Guandeos or Guandao, I did not get to show you what to do uh, in that run through right then. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go show you in a normal siphon as Wukong right now. Let's go do it. Switch into Wukong. Again, I do have builds up for Wukong for you to also go and take a look at on those videos. I promise you won't be disappointed. Uh, we have our Defy build, which you can use either that one or the Primal Fury, whichever one you want to use. I think I'm going to go with Primal Fury on this one, just for fun. So we've just gone into an Exterminate Kuva Siphon. 
Hey, pay attention to me. So, once you get in here and you got in your mission, if you don't see that siphon immediately like the last time, just keep on progressing with the mission, moving on, you'll find it. It'll pop up on your screen and let you know you're nearby. If you don't find it by the time you get to the, ex uh, the extraction, it was probably somewhere just right off to the side and you just need to backtrack a little bit and take those corridors that look um, like they go a little bit further into the map. Keep in mind, if you're playing as Wukong and you're just killing everything instead of taking any damage at all, you're not going to keep getting your energy back. It's going to keep going down. So occasionally you might need to stop killing stuff and let them kill you. Now, how to take big guys down. Kuva Guardians. You want to switch to your operator, press the circle button for a void blast, bullet jump through them, and then kill them. Let's do that again. So... Operator, Void Blast, Bullet Jump Through, and kill them. Don't forget to watch your braid, because they will take off without you. We saw, we, we could see it was going to the right over here. Occasionally they will um, also get stuck in walls, like they can get stuck there, they can get stuck on the stairs and stuff. So if you're sitting there at the braid waiting to see the cloud, and it's not showing up, it's likely stuck on something like that. But as you can see, Wukong just, he refuses to die and he refuses to let them live. He is just so great for this. They can't do anything to him. Now you can see I'm getting all my energy back. No problems. Don't forget about the braids or you'll miss the clouds like I just did. Well, that's what it looks like when you uh, you miss a cloud, and one of your braids still survives. But like I said before, you still won't lose any of the kuva you would have gained. So it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It, that's just how good Wukong is about his energy though. Keep in mind, we're running two abilities right now, Defy and Primal Fury. So those are both draining energy, but he's just able to keep up so well with his Rage and his Defy. It is awesome. So right there, it was actually stuck on this panel. So they will do that, and it's actually not too rare. It's pretty common that it'll happen. It can be annoying, but you can find them. Uh, by the way, using your synthesis scanner also does reveal them if you're looking at them through your scanner, so that is a great way to find them. Oh, well, there it is. You can see everything was lower level here as we were on a siphon, and we got 648 Kuva rather than the 1266 we got on the Flood. Now, like I said before, there's only going to be one flood every time that the Kuva Fortress is around with missions. And then you have to wait it out for another one whenever it'll show up. Occasionally, it'll let you do it twice. It's not that common. I'm not sure if it's a bug or what. It didn't do that when these first came out, but it does now. And if it does, definitely take advantage of it. Go for it and get that extra Kuva. But otherwise, guys, that's all there is to this. It's... It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, it's, and you got the Warframe and the weapons, and you're prepared to do this, it's not going to be a problem. You're going to be able to get all the Kuva you need. If you plan on doing a long Kuva farm, I highly recommend that you have a movie nearby, or a show, something to watch to keep you from falling asleep, because you will. This can get boring, trust me. Very, very, very boring. But... Anyway, we're about to see. We got our Kuva here, and you saw I, will, I don't have to be near the braid. You'll still get it. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you can get all the Kuva you need to roll all the ribbons you got. 
Look forward to that Kuba survival video coming out. Like I said, I didn't have time to put them both in this video today because I got a lot of stuff to work on right now because, for one, Valkyrie Prime, she was bugged until really recently. Her, uh, her Prime Talons on the PS4 had 0% status chance. That finally just got fixed. Uh, Revenant, I still got to get him up there. And then Chroma Prime came out today along with the Gram and the... Um, Rubico Prime, so I'm working on grabbing all those up. Keep in mind, I don't buy Prime Access or buy any of my Warframes or weapons. I gotta go out and get them on my own. So that's why it could take me an extra day or two to get the videos and the builds out. But don't worry, they're coming and they're gonna be great, I promise you. Thank you for watching. Please, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. You guys know the deal. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.